use transformations of x squared to graph the following function. So the function we have to graph is h of x equals parentheses x minus 5 quantity squared plus 6. So the first thing to notice is that we're taking the graph of y equals x squared. So that looks like a u, looks like this. And uh, we're shifting it, right? We're doing um, transformations. Okay, so whenever you subtract a number from the x, it's backwards. You think it's left, but in this case, it's right. It's always backwards from what you think. So right 5. And then when you add a number to the entire function, we go up 6. Okay, if there was a minus here, it'd be down 6. If there was a plus here, then it would be left 5. Okay, so now we're taking this picture, and we're shifting it right 5 and up 6. So I'll draw the y-axis, and there's the x-axis. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> x, y. And let's see, so we're going right 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then up 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Put a dot, and then we just draw our u. Okay. So now we're going to use the graphing tool in MATLAB to do the problem. So I'm going to click this. It says click to enlarge graph. And we're going to click the tool here, the one that says uh, the u. So let's click that. And we're going to go right 5, up 6. Okay, so we're at 5, comma 6. See, the, up here it says 10, 8. That's because the dot is at 10, 8. So we're going right 5, and then up 6. That should put us at 5, 6. I'm going to left click. Then it says vertical stretching or shrinking, horizontal stretching or shrinking. That's when you have numbers and stuff in front of the x's uh, or in front of the function. We don't have that. So we're going right 5. So that's a horizontal shift when you go left and right. That's a positive 5. We're going up 6. So when you go up and down, that's a vertical shift. So I'm going to put a 6 here. Okay, so we went up 6. That's a vertical shift because vertical is up and down. We went right 5. That's a horizontal shift because horizontal is left and right. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And then I'll click Check Answer. And there it is. I hope this video made sense.